PK in the universe and I am back again with another Evercade video and today we're here to discuss Pico Interactive Collection 3. Pico Interactive Collection 3 is happening. Pico is back. Pico is going to be back on Evercade and that's pretty exciting. I'm really excited to finally have another Pico Interactive Collection. Also this is the first Collection 3 at all on Evercade so it's pretty cool. I'm really excited. I have Pico Interactive 1 and 2. Pico Interactive 1 is now a legacy cart, which means they're no longer manufacturing them, but anyone who's got stock and is still selling them can sell them until they're out of stock. So, and uh, so yeah, I'm really excited about this collection, and I like the Pico Interactive collections. I think they're a very well curated collection of games. Even Pico 2, yeah, I know Pico 2 gets a little hate, gets a little hate in the community. It's oftentimes called one of the worst actual Evercade carts, but I like it. I mean, it's got Top Racer 2 on it. That alone, for me, makes it worth owning. So, I mean, there's some, there's some other okay games on there too. It's not the best one, but it's a lot of fun. I still like that, but uh, Pico 2, of course, only has, they think, like 13 games, and Pico 1 has 20 games. Pico 1 is, like, too good. It's actually too good. It is just an absolute S-tier level Evercade cart. There's just too many good games on it. It's like Pico Interactive thought, maybe this is our only opportunity to make an Evercade cart, so we're going to do the very best job possible. That's how I interpret what happened, and, of course, it's a huge success. It's unfortunate they're not going to make any more of Pico 1, but still, and the obvious reason is the rights to a couple of those games have fallen back into Atari's hands, so obviously they're not going to make any more. But it's still really cool. I'm really glad to have that in my collection, and again, I'm really excited about Pico 3. Pico 3, I think the only thing I can say, or even think that's even remotely negative, is there's only 10 games on there. So it's like we go down a few games every collection. So maybe in Pico 4 there will be 8 games. Who knows? Who knows? But these are actually really good games games. I mean, this is definitely quality over quantity for sure. One game on there that I'm really excited about is Legend of Wukong, which is a an RPG. That game I had never heard of, and I like the graphical style of it, you know, and that looks pretty cool, but it might be like right up my alley as far as type of games I like to play. So Legend of Wukong, obviously very excited about that one. Up next, of course, is Punch King. That one really excites me, Punch King. I've always liked the original Punch-Out. Don't know anything about this particular game. I know it was on Game Boy Advance. I'd actually heard of it. I saw somebody was selling it a while back, but I was like, I didn't really know what that was. I didn't know if that was even remotely good, but some other people in the community seem to be kind of excited for it. So yeah, I'm also excited for Punch King. I'll see how that plays, see how, the, how that uh, plays on the old Evercade. Radical Bikers. Uh, Radical Bikers, apparently this is an 8-bit version. Apparently it's an unreleased version that never was actually released to a system, I guess. I don't know. I don't know a lot about it. I know it's an arcade game as well, but this obviously isn't the arcade version. It's the 8-bit version, so that should be pretty interesting. Motor City Patrol. That's a game I'm really interested in. I've heard that that's kind of an expensive game now when it's complete in box, I guess. I didn't even know about this game. There's so many great games on this collection that I didn't know anything about. Zero Tolerance. Zero Tolerance looks really good. A lot of people in the Evercade community have talked about how they'd love to see a game like Doom on the Evercade. Well, this might be the closest we get for a while. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about, you know, playing a first person shooter on Evercade because we've never really gotten that before. So that's pretty cool. And finally, 40 Winks. 40 Winks. I'm not going to lie, when they announced this, I got a little nervous. got a little nervous because if you guys have watched my previous Evercade video, I talked about the how there's never going to be an Evercade N64 collection, as in a collection that just has nothing but N64 games on it. I mentioned that I didn't think Evercade could even play N64 games. I thought it was very unlikely. Well, this is not the N64 version. This is the PS1 version. This is a game I actually mentioned in my video as a possibility because I was like, well, if it was going to be like a dual card, you know, would it have like Glover and, you know, 40 Winks? I thought that would be an interesting idea because I knew Pico Interactive owned 40 Winks because they make the N64 cartridge and you can't even really get that anymore and it's kind of expensive. So it'll be really interesting and I guess, you know, there's a Steam version of that as well. So I guess if people really want to go try it out, that is an available option and of course... 
you know, obviously it was on the PS1 back in the day. The PS1 copies I've seen go for, I don't know, it's like kind of all over the place there. I saw one today on eBay going for like, I think it was like 20 bucks or less or something. So it's not that expensive, maybe, but could be more expensive down the road. I don't know. I don't know a lot about this game, but I've heard about it and kind of always wanted to give it a try. So really excited, really excited for this collection. Yeah, overall, I'm really happy that we're getting Pico Interactive 3. I'm really happy it's the PS1 version because it would have made my N64 video, you know, totally out of date and irrelevant. But uh, I again, it's it's interesting too because there's some people who are like it's it's totally going to happen, just you wait. And I'm like okay, even if you know what, even if my N64 video was out of date, I just make another video about it. That's the beauty of YouTube is yes, you can be wrong. Guess what? Every, every mistake is just another opportunity. Every mistake is an opportunity, you know? So it would not bother me in the slightest if my video is out of date. So, <laughs> but uh, anyways, what are your guys' thoughts? What is the game on Pico Interactive 3 that you are the most excited to play? Comment below. Love to hear what you have to say. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and stay awesome in this universe. Thanks. Bye.